yeah, what I'm did you get? I'm allowed to open, open it. Wow. See, I just thought maybe we could do this after school. <coughs> no, you want to make it now? Yeah. What is it then? It's a tree decoration, but we don't have our tree up yet, do we? What tree? What tree up? My Chris yeah, Mummy will probably need to help you. Should we do it after school? Yeah. Yeah? Have ah. Alistair got that for the first day of December. No. And you got that as well. You lucky boy. What did I get? Oh, my goodness. <gasps> wow. What else did you get? Did you get anything else? Go have a look. Is that nice? Are you a lucky girl? Chocolate in the morning. Where's yours? Is yours already gone? Are you going to draw him? Okay. Draw the little gingy man. Mr. Independent, this is what he does most mornings now. Don't you? You're a clever boy. Let's give it a shake. You just took all the oil. You have to give it a shake because it's raw milk. Ours tops has a cream top. We're going to tip it all in? Not all of it, just tip a little bit. That's it, perfect. Well done, boy. Hey everyone, excuse my mess. <laughs> the state of me. Bye's give me a hug. You okay, bye? Need to get her dressed. It's seven o'clock and it's the first of December. So, yeah, Vlogmas yeah, is no, starting. No. Although you won't see this for another couple of days because I've got other things planned, but yeah, today is basically Vlogmas Day 1. It's I need so to publish a video. Look, it's so dark. It is dark. It's really dark actually, isn't it, for seven? I was actually quite confused when I got up at half six. I was kind of like, oh, it's usually a little bit lighter, but today it's actually really dark. Um, it's going to be kind of on and off showers today. Oh, my And yeah, you're a little piggy. Yeah. I know what we can do. We can go wake Daddy because he needs to get up, really. Yeah. Oh, you wake up. You're already awake. Yeah. Oh, is that your alarm? Yeah. Seven o'clock alarm. Ready? Oh, wrong one. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Yay! Pretty lights. Oh. It's nice, isn't it? Oh, I Pretty. Me up, Daddy. Have a little snuggle. <laughs> so look, oh, <laughs> All right, Fire's gonna wear these cute tights. And gap with a gap skirt. Morrison's top. And she needs some pants. Number seven, number eight, number you nine. have to wait for your treat tomorrow. Well, that's violets anyway, but yeah. 14. Yeah. She's getting warm. And me. Aww. You're snuggling. How cute do you look? <laughs> you love your sleep. You sleep. Hi everyone, so we are pretty much ready to go and I just, I've had giveaway going for five days and I literally, it, the raffle copter kind of picks random winners and I just pressed on like, add, like choose a random like winner and it's actually come up with someone that I sort of know, Amy. I talked to her on, um, she does, she's on YouTube and she's a blogger, so yeah, I can't believe that, how random, so that is my winner, I will obviously contact you through email, Amy, but yeah, I was just a bit in shock, I was thinking, who's going to win, because you never know, it could be international, it could be anyone, but yeah, so I'm really chuffed about that, it's always nice for someone to win that you've been chatting to and you sort of, not know in real life, but you kind of know of, um, so yeah, we're going to leave soon anyway. Um, it's brightened up a bit. It's still really gloomy today. Um, I don't know. It looks really dark today still. Hopefully it'll brighten up for the rest of the day, but it might just be a miserable day. Who knows? We got up kind of early, so I'm kind of just sat around waiting. It's 8 o'clock. We usually leave about quarter past 20 past, so I've still got a bit of time left. And um, yeah, I'll let you know what we're doing once I've done school run. And I feel like I'm getting a sore throat. I've got a bit of a yucky throat, like it just feels phlegmy and, and it kind of feels sore when I swallow. So I might need to pick up something for my throat or I don't know, drink some honey and lemon or something. Hi everyone. So just on school run, Violet's with me. Um, I actually popped to Graham's Grands because um, 
I picked up some stuff that obviously we don't want to go anywhere, we want to keep. And there's a couple of big items still, but there's an auction man coming out today to take yeah. some stuff away. So I wanted to make sure I got the stuff that we really wanted to keep out. And um, yeah, it's just after nine. We're going to head to Paul because they've got some big like um, outlet shops. They've got John Lewis Home, which I probably won't go into. They've got Home Base, which I probably won't go into. But they've got Home Sense, which is basically um, TK Maxx, but just all homeware so they, they do all their Christmas stuff and I really am so obsessed with TK Maxx recently I just absolutely love it I've got some amazing bargains from the clearance section recently so I haven't been to home since since summer I think so I'm gonna go there they've got a new shop I'm not sure if it's called home bargains or some sort of cheap shop I really need to get some hot chocolate I've got a few crafty things that I need to do and hot chocolate is on my list and because that shop is cheap, I can pick up probably Cadbury's hot chocolate for like a pound snack. or something. You want a snack? Yeah. What do you say? Choose a different photo. <laughs> Thank you. I didn't give it to you yet. Hang on. Um, yeah, so we're going to go there and they've got mother care, they've got boots. I'm looking for a new skincare regime. Um, I asked um, a lot of you on Facebook and God, I got so many comments, so many choices, options. There's so much out there. I really just don't know what to go for. I just, I really don't know. So I might go to boots, speak to the people there. Anyway, we'll see what happens. It's just after nine. We're going to go to pool now. So hopefully it won't take too long. Fingers crossed there's not too much traffic because, yeah. There's always a bit of traffic, but I need to pop to Waitrose as well. I might go to Waitrose or they've got a Tesco actually. Maybe I'll go to Tesco because they've got a Tesco just um, down the road from where I'm going. So I might go there instead. It saves me coming all the way back and going to Waitrose. Hey, sleep. She's so tired. She got up with Alistair. I think Alistair actually may have woke her up this morning. Um, I think she got up about quarter to six because I went into the lounge by about six. I didn't actually get up that early, but obviously living in a bungalow, you kind of just hear them. Um, I just stayed in bed next half an hour. And um, yeah, I think it's a, well, I think she probably got up really way too early than she usually should do because she just loves her sleep. So I show her a little power nap. And I, I didn't even realize actually that they had a next home here as well. That could be dangerous. Um, and they've also got Laura Ashley, which is really nice. And actually in their sales, their sales are really good, Laura Ashley. Like generally I would never buy anything full price. It's way overpriced. Um, but the sales stuff is really, really nice. But yeah, my main reason for coming to Host Home Sense, not just to shop, because I don't need I don't need anything, but um, I'm gonna see Sophie tomorrow. Sophie's recently just moved house um, last week. Uh, and they only they've moved further down south from where they were she used to be about two and a half hours away from me and now she's only about 30 to 40 minute drive so yeah really exciting so i'm going to see her tomorrow and i just wanted to get her a little homey homey gift you know see what i can find because home sense have the best stuff they just have such a variety of things so um yeah that's my main reason for really just coming here and there is a home bargains i thought it was home bargains i've never seen home bargains anywhere else be nice to have a browser in there because i've never actually been in there before we've got a candle so far and a apple core which is vice just looking at the gingerbread stuff over there we haven't really got too far have we you hungry i'm getting hungry as well we're in the clearance section um still browsing aren't we see what we can find oh God, any I'm treasures <gasps> look who's that oh no that's a doggy that's lost his ears isn't it oh we're going up in the lift yeah going up that's what we've got so far Hi everyone, we just got to Tesco, it's 11 o'clock and we're going to go in and hopefully, I've never been to the Tesco before so I'm hoping they're going to have um, like a little cafe so I can get a coffee and Violet can have a sandwich or something because she's hungry already, I suppose where she's been up so early and we had breakfast early, she's starving, although I have got snacks and she's got sort of snacking on fruit and stuff but, did you eat your bear? Nom, nom, nom. And then we're going to see what else we can find. Need some cereal, um, see if I can get some like free range chicken thighs or something, see if I can get any good deals on meat. What have you got? There's cereal. We've got cereal, we've got lots of cereal, and chicken, mince pies. Are you okay with that? 
Are you struggling? What have you got, Vi? Pasta. Is that what you chose? Tomato and cheese pasta for lunch. They didn't actually have a cafe, which I was quite surprised about because it's a really big cafe. I said, ask the lady. I was like, am I missing something? Like, where's the cafe? She said, oh no, they haven't got one. So, I just got a sausage roll. I'm not really that hungry. And I'm kind of heading home now, so it's no point, obviously, um, getting too much. I'm not starving. It's 10 to 12 now. So we're going to head home. We had a successful shopping trip, I think. Um, Violet was as good as gold, as always, aren't you? You're a good girl. I did the shop. You were good at the shop, weren't you? You were really helpful. So, yeah. I'm good. I'm good at me being naughty. You've been naughty? Yeah. She had little screaming boots. Um, because I was looking at skincare stuff, I didn't end up getting anything. But I don't know, she just decided to have like just a, a really moment of meltdown just in her push chair. She just started screaming and I was like, oh, we go home then. She was like, no, no. And then I was like, okay. And then we came out of boots and then she wiped her hands because she had a bicky. And then she was fine. It kind of lasted not even two minutes. <laughs> I wanted so, another bicky. And you wanted another bicky and mummy said no. Didn't I? Yeah. So, yeah. Anyway, we're heading home. There's Jack grazing with his buddies. Here he is. Okay, so this is quite simple. His face is a little bit squashed though. You have to just glue that bit by. Glue his head. And then he turns into Father Christmas like that. That's it. She's doing the other head now because this one is a bit bent so we're going to try and glue it with a little bit of a weight on there so yeah can you hear that cockerel no isn't he noisy yeah and he's naughty he is naughty isn't he and he's big he is big like papa's big mm. there we go and we need to clean this um yeah <laughs> well done that's his rosy cheeks you put them one here and one there. Yeah? Look. How are you doing? Okay. Oh, well done. Look at that. And we need so we need to let them dry now. Should we let them dry? Can we do another one? You want to do another one. So I got some um, short crust mince pies for tomorrow when I go to see Sophie. They were two for 150, which is nice. And you can see they're kind of like homemade ones. They're really nice. Love mince pies from a B and M. I didn't get much. I got some I these like cheeky. Mince pies. You like a mince pie, do you? Do you? Um, I got these milk butter biscuits, which are really nice. I prefer the dark ones. And then I got these fig rolls, which are like my absolute favourite. They just, I just love them. I don't even know why. Like nobody else likes them. I think Alistair might like them. Um, but they were like 50 pence or something. So I got those as a really bad naughty treat. And then I got these for my friends. I've already got a box of, of sort of festive friends or something, but I, 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 you know, this just goes towards their secret Santa thing that we do. And they were 69 pence each. So I've got, the so I've got Malteser, I think that was 99 pence. I've got the Cadbury's, which was 99 pence. And I think this one was just a little bit more. Um, I don't know why, but the Galaxy. So they're gonna go, I'm gonna do like crafty um, gifts that I'm doing. And then I also got the little gingy man. That was 39 pence and so was the star. So yeah, that's everything I got. This is for you, Amy. I've got to post this tomorrow. This is the advent that, um, I haven't opened it obviously, but this is the Ciate advent, which was on my giveaway. Definitely, um, you know, if you don't follow my blog, feel free to follow it because I do have some more giveaways coming up. And I've got a parcel. This one is actually for Alistair. And I already know what it is. It's, um, it's really cool. Welly do. Um, Colour me wellies. And these are my wellies. These are Alistair's wellies. They didn't actually do your size by. Sadly, they only do a very limited sizing. So they do like, I think size 11 to size two. Um, so like two kind of adult, I suppose. So these are the wellies, they're the moth design, um, yeah, that's the company, and I'll link them below, but yeah, they're based in Bournemouth, and look how cool they look, and they basically send you some pens with it. I was actually hoping they'd send me the, the boyish more pens, because they do have um, the dark blue and the red and the green, I think, so they've sent me these ones, which I'd say are slightly more girly, so I'm not sure how Alice is going to feel about those, drawing those on his boots, but he might not mind, you know, never know. 
but you draw you can color it in draw all over your boots and it's 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 completely um, unwashable so you won't be able to wash it off once the designs on there it's done so whatever he puts on there um, yeah but look how cool they look do you like them Vi? when your feet are bigger you'll be able to have a pair too yeah but your feet aren't big enough yet no. give it a couple more years I think see these sprinkle things these sparkly ones should I get them out for you oh my god look at your hand You're covered in glue does that feel nice because I'm picking it off. I actually went in there for was for chicken. And they were doing well, quite a good deal actually, or I think, on um, their free range chicken thighs and drumsticks. I mean, I, on a card at the moment, I'm going to have to change my order. On a cardo, I've got the thighs in my basket separately and the, and the drumsticks. And together, they're over £5. So <clears throat> I basically got them together for £4.99. Um, I've got one pack here and I've also got an extra pack to go in the freezer as well because I thought that was a good deal and I never go to Tesco so yeah and that will do two meals as well. We're actually having homemade faggots for tea tonight. I love homemade faggots. This lady that works for us she just does them so amazingly obviously using her own beef and it's got like liver in. Um, they're quite hearty and quite sort of gamey but they're really really nice. I can't even remember what normal faggots taste like like you know the frozen ones that you can buy I don't even know what those taste like but the kids love them I just throw them in a stew like last minute and they just taste amazing so, so I'll show you what I got to say for you from home sense I got this mug I like the way it looks I mean it's like Christmassy can you see that I thought that was really really cute like a nice Christmassy mug not too cheesy or cheap looking but I love the fact that it is so big I need to give it a wash but yeah it's a really big size and I know she loves tea so I think it'd be good for like a good cup of tea so I got her that and then I got her one more thing which I actually bought myself as well <laughs> it's this hang on. it's a soy spiced pumpkin what does that say I don't know uh, candle two wick and I also got it for myself it smells amazing it doesn't smell too much it just smells really really nice and subtle so I got her those two and like I said I got got it for myself as well because I wanted one <laughs> but um I'm also I'm going to take those mince pies and also because I'm nice I'm going to bring her some eggs um because obviously we've got our own hens I'm going to bring her six eggs and I may if we've got any find her some steaks so we'll see <laughs> we'll see what I knock up out of the cold room later but yeah I've just eaten a chocolate biscuit I'm being really bad today I've actually got I'm going to uh, boot camp tonight with my friend I go every Monday and I'm trying to go Monday and Wednesday and Friday but it's just having the time honestly it's having the time but I'm definitely going tonight and I've had how bad has my day been so far? It's basically been like a sugar high, I think. I had yogurt with fruit um, for my breakfast and then I had sausage roll for lunch and a chocolate biscuit. Oh my God, reality, hey, reality. Sometimes it's just one of those days where you just feel so bad and you actually feel really like crap. Like my body feels a bit like, ugh, like sluggish. So yeah, I think I'm just gonna get like a whole load of water in me now and just sort of hydrate, I think. Here we go, comparison. This is one of my normal mugs. This is the mug that I got Sophie. Nice and huge difference. It's nice to have big mugs. I got this one the other day. Uh, this is from British Home Stores, I think it was. And I think it was like 20% off and originally five pounds. So how cute is that? And again, it's a nice big mug. I hate little ones. I don't know why I even bought such tiny ones. But some people do like a small cup of tea. I do prefer a big one though. I have to show you this um, wrapping paper. Look how cute. I got it from BHS like a couple of days ago when I got my mug. And look how cute that is. That's, yeah, my wrapping's terrible by the way. It's really terrible. But yeah, this is Amy's <clears throat> gift. And then I'm gonna double wrap it in just brown paper just so it doesn't stand out in the post, obviously. Hiya, is your baby crying? She's really noisy. I'm not okay now. She's asleep. Did you rock her to sleep? Oh, no, what did you do? I cried. So what did you do? Did you um, give her a cuddle or you put her dummy in? Oh, did that make her happy? 
and make her go to sleep? No? Just make her be quiet? Because her, her sad. <clears throat> oh, what's she sad for? she's what she looks fine now she looks happy so I was going to do um, what was I gonna do I was gonna do the stew with the faggots but um, I have realized I haven't even got any onions <laughs> till tomorrow till, till my food delivery so I'm gonna do them tomorrow tonight I'm gonna do toad in the hole but we've got um, it's our beef uh, sausages with garlic and tomato which are really really nice so I'm going to do it with those it's a really quick dinner as well so it's not too much I've got to go to boot camp um, leave here about quarter past six so I can't have anything too heavy anyway so if I do that nice and sort of early-ish hopefully Grey will be back but yeah we're just chilling out oh dear the house is an absolute tip like Lego as always is everywhere um we got a new telly recently, that's why that telly's got to go somewhere. So it's kind of taking up lots and lots of room. I've got lots of ironing to do. I actually changed around our room yesterday. I just, actually, I didn't think of it. Graham kind of put the idea into my head that our room would look better with the um, bed like facing the window. And because of the size of the room I wasn't too sure and because we've got built-in wardrobes one side I was like oh I'm not sure but I ended up changing it around anyway because it's really easy because we don't really have much furniture because we've got built-in wardrobes and um, yeah it looks really nice and I actually really really like it although I kind of slept a bit restlessly last night because and so did Graham because I think it just feels slightly strange like because I'm on the opposite side of the bed as well it's just really odd um, but generally it looks really nice I'll show you actually I don't think I've ever done a room tour of our room and I probably won't do one because it's not really that exciting to be honest it's just it's quite a plain room to be honest but I'll show you um, this is actually my bridesmaid dress it needs to be taken in so the bed used to be along there and now it's along here and I think it looks so much more nicer I've moved my dressing and my sort of table thing <coughs> oh, excuse me, I feel like I'm getting a cough. But yeah, I move my mirror. My bed's here. We've moved the pictures. Um, the pictures were just a little bit higher. But yeah, so it, it kind of works out better now. I didn't think it would work because we had the um, the built-in wardrobes here. And I thought it would, it just wouldn't have enough room. But it works fine. We've got, obviously got the ensuite there. Um, so yeah, it kind of feels like when me and Graham got into bed last night... I was like, oh my god, this feels like we're on holiday or something. The whole room just felt so different. God, I'm so sad, I know. But it's quite nice. It's quite nice to have a change. I haven't changed it at all the whole time we've lived here for like, be two years in February, March. So, yeah, I've been quite good because I am one to change things quite often. Oh, another thing I was going to say. Who has got their tree up? Because I have seen so many people on Facebook, Instagram... YouTube, everybody has got their tree up. And I'm just like, am I missing something? I just feel, I just don't feel that Christmassy. Which sounds really bad. I just don't, I just don't think, I don't feel ready to get a tree yet. We get a real one every year. And I'm not sure where to put it. We usually have it here. But obviously the kids have taken over with their cars. So we're tempted to put it there have like a medium one and put it there excuse the state of my house by the way <laughs> um, yeah I think I'm going to get a medium one put it there and then I also want a small potted one I think I'm going to put that somewhere I don't know where but I think I'm going to get a little small potted one and hopefully if it doesn't dry out and die then hopefully we can replant it and then pull it back in every single year um, that's the plan anyway but yeah I just ah, oh, we, we literally because we get a real one because they dry out so quickly and they just drop their needles, even if they say they're not supposed to, they still drop their needles. Um, we won't get one now till probably around the 10th, probably. Between the 8th and the 10th, I reckon. That's when we usually get one. So, yeah, we've got a good over a week yet before we get ours. Although I have, although I say I, I'm not really feeling that Christmassy, I have actually got our Christmas decorations out from the loft. 
just because I needed the advents out and I needed the stockings out but it's nice and it's really lovely to look through them all and stuff like that but yeah I'm not quite ready to get the decks up yet this is actually really good isn't it sit pull it straight through it's like like a first sort of sewing kit isn't it that's mm -hmm. it. Well done. That's really good, Alistair. Ah! Yeah, make sure he's finishing that off. I'm going to start on dinner. It's four o'clock, so I'm going to put the sausages in the oven. I've got a quick how to on Toad in the Hole if you're wondering. It's really, really easy. It's just like literally cook the sausages and then throw in the batter. Job done. <laughs> really easy. Doesn't take no more than like, I don't know, half an hour, 40 minutes. Oh, so Alistair did. Well done. Hey, I want the buttons to go there. Yeah, one of his buttons have come off. Because he needs to dry. Hang on, bye. He needs to dry a little bit more. He's a bit damp. Look, what should we name him? Um, Bailey. Bailey? Yeah. Okay. Like it. Should Bailey. we hang him up? Should we yeah. hang him up with Vice? There's Violets. One there. And one here. Is that fit in? How are you going to get it in? Way. Okay, sorry, bye. Burn, baby, burn. Smoke. Smoking, has it gone out? Uh oh. <laughs> oh yeah. dear. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, my good masher. Nom nom. We've got a third child having her dinner. Right, you sit up. Yeah. Just got ready to go to boot camp. Oh, you know, it's one of those things where you kind of, you're up for going, but it's just, I don't want to go outside, it's cold, and, it's, you know, we've got to drive, so we've got to go down the road, and, Oh, I'm sure I'll be fine when I get there, but right now I'd rather just curl up in a ball and just sit in front of the TV with a cup of tea, but not going to happen. I've got my new Matalan um, workout clothes on, which are actually really nice. Um, I've got them both together. I got them in, the, well, these tops are in the sale. This one's kind of like a sports bar top, and this one's kind of like a loose, comfy top. Yeah, excuse the socks, but yeah, I really like the leggings as well. I think they're pretty cool. They're only £12. And really comfortable as well. These are in the PJs. Graham's obviously going to sort them out. Like, wash feet. I don't think they're going to have a bath. They don't, want, they don't actually want baths tonight. So, they had a proper bath and hair wash yesterday. So, I think they're going to just do teeth and, you know, the usual face wash and that sort of thing. So, yeah. What are they doing? What are the kiddies doing? Watching Peppa Pig. I'm not trying What are you making? Head. Pizza. You're taking a picture? I broke Oh, you want me to take a picture? I broke it up. Just got back from the boot camp. It was really, really good. I've actually just got back, but I've had a shower and that's why I look flustered and hot and yucky. Well, actually, I feel quite refreshed, but I've got to decide what I'm going to put in the kiddies. Um, obviously, the kids are asleep now. It's about, I think it's nearly half eight. I'm going to decide what to put in the advents for tomorrow. Should I put a nice treat in there? So yeah, I will see you all soon. I'm sure another day in life will pop up. Um, if you've got any requests, I think I said it maybe at the start of the video, if you've got any like video requests for this month, because I've got to do so many, um, like any tags or anything like that, um, just you know comment them below and I'll see what I can do. And yeah, I will see you all 